Hello, welcome. I'm here with my cup of tea and my notes. We're talking about 12 ways to get out of a creative rut or a creative slump. The first thing that I find very helpful is to go for a walk. It is so calming. I either listen to a podcast or some music or just walk in silence and observe my thoughts churning. <laughs> just getting outside, the movement of walking is very therapeutic I find, and I get lots of ideas when I'm walking. I'll have to stop and write something down on my phone because like a phrase will come into my head and I'll be like, oh, I could do a video about that, or oh, that's a really interesting character. Something about walking takes the pressure off, allows my mind to keep working on the problem or working on creating ideas. And then as I walk, those ideas will come to fruition. The second thing I think helps <laughs> to get out of a creative slump is to zone out. Yes, I think sometimes you need to just say, I can't do this anymore. Like, I've tried coming up with ideas, I've tried to stay positive, stay motivated. So put something mindless on TV, let yourself scroll on your phone, whatever social media you prefer. Maybe give yourself, like, for the next hour, the next half an hour, just be like, I don't care. I'm going to have this TV show on in the background, or I'm going to scroll on Instagram. <laughs> give yourself that space. Sometimes you just need to rest. <laughs> Another thing I find helpful is to do something that doesn't have any outcome attached to it. For example, I quite like doing paintings for my family. So if it's someone's birthday or they move into a new house or whatever, I like to do a painting. It's a unique thing. It's something that I've put time into that hopefully they can look at and remember that I care about them. I try and pick a landscape or colors that I think will resonate with them. And I like doing that, but there can then be some pressure attached to painting because I know that the outcome for this painting is to be given as a gift. If I am in a bit of a creative slump, if I'm dreading doing this painting, it can help instead to do something with no outcome attached, to just get a random piece of paper, not even a canvas, not even have a picture to draw, maybe try and do something from my head or just do random colors in random patterns. The act of painting itself then is the point. It's not about creating something that looks really nice or creating something that I know will resonate with someone. Doing something with no outcome attached can be really helpful. I do this as well with my videos. So yes, I have my YouTube channel. I have been doing for the past couple of weeks a daily video challenge of uploading every single day. <laughs> it has definitely been a challenge, but I've been enjoying it. But sometimes I will film a video knowing that I won't post it. And the point is to just try and process whatever I'm feeling, say something out loud, try and get past a creative block. I'm not thinking, oh, I'm gonna post this on this day. There's nothing there, it's just for me to make. So do something, whatever it is that you're struggling with creatively, do something just for the love of it. Instead of being like, oh, I'm trying to finish this story or write this many words, just write something completely unrelated to that project you're working on. The next thing is to go to sleep. <laughs> I'm not someone who naps, so here I am talking about going to bed early, just leaving it to the next day and being like, I've put all of the energy I can into this today, I will try again tomorrow. But if you are someone who takes naps, absolutely try that. When I feel overwhelmed, sometimes it's best to just be like, I will deal with this tomorrow. <laughs> I need to sleep first and I will hopefully wake up in a better frame of mind, more positive, be like, ah, oh, okay. I'm ready to tackle this now. I'm ready to do something about this. Another way to move past a creative slump is to put on a really immersive film. This helps me so much. <laughs> Pick a film that is very long, something like Lord of the Rings, The Hobbit, Harry Potter, the seventh one, so watch both parts, The Deathly Hallows. Pick a long, film. I recently did this where I put on The Wolf of Wall Street, which is like three hours long. The reason I find this helpful to get out of a creative slump is that it really gets you immersed in another character or in another world. It gets you outside of yourself. And yes, this can be true for any TV show you put on. You're following different characters' stories or they live in a different city. Like it doesn't have to necessarily, I mentioned Lord of the Rings, it doesn't have to be fantasy. Even like watching How I Met Your Mother, I don't live in New York City. So seeing these characters who do, that's taking me outside of my own experience but there is something about putting on a really long film and just completely getting drawn into the world that's being created. The Marvel movies, similar, because some of them can be really long. <laughs> the Dark Knight trilogy, I think they're so good. I'm halfway through re-watching them. I love them so much. It will take you out of your experience and hopefully take you out of whatever you're struggling with creatively so that then when you return to that project, you will feel more energized from having that break and that time spent in another creative world. The next thing is to do some free writing. This I think helps whether you're in a creative rut with something that you're writing. For me, if it's like a, I'm in a creative rut about video ideas for my channel, just open a blank document. I find this kind of writing is definitely best to do digitally, like do on your laptop because you can type a lot quicker than you can write. Also, if you don't like writing, you could do this as a video or like as a voice note, like a voice memo to yourself. Say 
everything that's bothering you or write everything that's bothering you, everything that's going on in your head. I don't feel like I have good enough ideas. I don't feel like I can sustain this level of work that I'm trying to do. I don't feel like I am as creative as I was a year ago or I'm having as good ideas as I was a year ago. Like, just get everything out. This is a very helpful technique to understand why I might be stuck in a creative rut because some things can come out there that you maybe you haven't admitted to yourself yet. Another way to get out of a creative rut is to daydream about your future. I find this is helpful because it reminds me of why I am trying to work on a particular thing. What do I want? What do you want? <laughs> what do you want to look like? Who do you want to be? Having these daydreams and maybe writing about it, doing some scripting or some journaling as well can help me out of a creative rut because it reminds me of what the vision I have for my life is of who I want to be, reminds me of why I'm making these videos or why I want to keep doing painting, why I want to write. The next way is to switch it up. So if you're stuck on one particular creative thing, can you do something else? If I'm stuck on writing something, I can make a video instead, I can do some painting instead. If I'm stuck on the painting, I can do the writing. If you're stuck on writing the plot or outlining the plot, can you instead daydream about the character's backstory and write about that instead? So you're still working on that project, but you are approaching it from a different angle than you were before. So you don't get stuck on that specific thing that you think you need to fix. Can you like just go on Pinterest and decide to make a collage or a little mood board for the week or the month? Can you do some journaling instead of trying to write your fiction? Another way to get out of a creative rut is to connect with yourself again. I love working on different creative projects, I love doing my daily video challenge, but because it is quite a lot of work, sometimes I can get so focused on that that I forget to just be myself. This is going to sound strange, but I think if you are in a place where you are absorbed in a project, maybe you're trying to write a novel or you're trying to do a really intricate painting, you might focus on that thing so much that you forget just to be you. <laughs> so to connect to myself again, I like maybe cooking a wholesome meal and putting on a long podcast so I'm in the kitchen for like an hour just chopping different things, preparing things. Maybe I just fry up some vegetables and then maybe I make some tempeh scramble, roast some vegetables or steam some frozen broccoli or frozen cauliflower, make some garlic mushrooms and spinach, have like a self-care pamper evening where you do a nice face mask, maybe you make a, a honey sugar scrub or buy a sugar scrub. If you find having a long bath relaxing, have a nice bath with like a bath bomb, put on your favourite TV show, have some candles going, do something to reconnect with yourself. Stretching and yoga I find is also really helpful because it brings me back to myself and my body as opposed to just getting caught up in my head and my ideas, the creative project I'm working on. It's the same thing as like if we are going to take a painting example. Can you see this? If I am just focusing, this isn't like the best, I did this when I was like 14 I think. If I'm just focusing, on the corner of the typewriter, I'm missing the full picture. So in the same way, if you are focusing on your project so much, you're so zoomed in, you're gonna be missing out on the bigger picture, which is your life in general. Yes, it can be really fulfilling and it's really important to have this outlet. And if you're watching this video and you are creative, we know how important creativity is, but remember, you need the full picture. You are not just whatever you're working on. You are also your own person and you need to make time for that and reconnect to yourself as opposed to just focusing on whatever it is that you're trying to achieve. Another thing to help get out of a creative rut is to look over your past work. This will remind you that you do have good ideas, that you have made in the past things that you're proud of. So look through your old paintings, look through your old journals, look through your old essays or stories that you've written. Remind yourself of how creative you are and of all that you're capable of. Yes, you're struggling right now, but it doesn't have to be that way forever. You have the ability to get out of this creative rut. This leads us on to the next thing, which is to remember that life ebbs and flows. Right now you might be in a creative slump and don't feel like you have any good ideas or any motivation to work on your ideas, but you can rest in the fact that it's not always gonna be like that. Right now you're in a creative slump, but there will come a point where you have an abundance of ideas and you feel so excited about the thing that you're working on. And in the meantime, you can just focus on being you, reconnecting to yourself, taking deep breaths, reviewing your past work or just zoning out, like we said. I think another thing that can be helpful when you're stuck in a creative slump is to write about this moment so that you remember it and you can use it as motivation in the future. So in the future, as we just talked about, ebbs and flows, there will come a point where you're on a creative high. If you write now about how you're feeling, when you are on that creative high, then you can read what you've written now and remind yourself, look how far I've come. I used to be like that, but also, 
I used to be like that. So I need to remember now to take advantage of the fact that I have so much energy or so much time to work on my creative ventures. So if you just take a piece of paper and write now how you're feeling, oh, I feel like I'm in this slump, I feel like I have no ideas. Then when you read that in a month or two, when you're feeling in a better place creatively, what you've written now can serve as a reminder to future you to capitalize on that creativity and to do lots of things when you are feeling more creative. I hope some of what I've said has resonated with you. Life doesn't stay the same. Things will get better even if you can't see how and you've been in this creative rut for a while now. It will get better and hopefully some of the things that I've said here will help speed up that process so that you can be working again on whatever creative project really fulfills you and brings you a lot of joy. I talk a little bit more about creativity and expressing yourself in my video when no one understands your vision keep going. So I'll leave that on the screen for you to watch if you would like. I did mention my daily video challenge. I am uploading a video every day. If you enjoyed this video and made it this far, thank you and hello. And please subscribe if you would like to see more from me and see the new video every day when it comes out. God bless. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.